everyone and welcome back to my channel once again in today's video we will be learning how to cut and sew a 90 degree flare dress or you can call it cutter flare we have different types of circle flare we have the 90 degree flare we have the 180 degree flare we have the 270 degree flare we have 360 flare we have 720 flare, then we have 1080 flare, and then 1440 flare. But today we are going to be focusing mainly on the 90 degree flare, which is the quarter flare. So if you are viewing us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit on the notification bell to be the first to be updated anytime I upload a new video. Also like and share my videos. I would like to thank all my returning subscribers for always coming back to watch my videos. I'll first of all be drafting it on the pattern for you to understand it well before transferring it on the fabric. You can choose to cut it straight on the fabric because it's a simple circle flare. So you can cut it straight on the fabric or you draft your pattern first. For you guys to understand what I'm doing better, I decide to draft it on the pattern paper first before transfer it on the fabric. It's very easy to sew. So let's get started. So to cut this skirt, the waist I'm using is 28 inches plus 2 inches zipper allowance is 30 inches. 30 inches divided by 2 is 15 inches. So the waist I'm using is 28 inches plus 2 inches zipper allowance. You can use 1 inch or 2 inches, but I'm using 2 inches. 2 inches plus 28 inches is 30 inches divided by 2 is 15 inches. So the waist I'm using is 15 inches. The length of the flare is 18 inches plus 1 inch for hemming allowance and then half an inch for joining allowance is 19.5 inches. So the length of the skirt together with the hemming allowance and the joining allowance is 19.5 inches. So let's go straight to the cut. As you can see, my paper is not enough so I have to join it. So to sew the 90 degree flare, you fold the paper diagonally, like so. So as you can see, I've folded it in a triangular form. This skirt is just like a line skirt or it forms like a cone. So let's start with the measurement. So the half of the waist I'm using is, the half of the waist circumference is 15 inches. So I have to find where the 15 inches will be. So 15 inches will be somewhere here. Mm -hmm. So I'll mark it. And then from the tip of the flare, I'll measure to see how much I have here. It's 19 inches. So I'm going to take 19 inches all around. So let me measure to see if it's 15 inches before I join the marks. So this is 15. I have, but it's not bad. It's okay. I'll be connecting the points. So this is half of the waist circumference. Now we'll be taking the length of the skirt. The length is 18 inches plus 1 inch hemming allowance. So it's 19 inches here. And I'll be marking the half an inch on top of the waistline for the joining allowance. So now I'm marking 19 inches here all round. 
So I finished marking the length of the flag, which is 19 inches. So now I'm marking half an inch on top of this waistline for the joining allowance. Because this, if you cut a flare, a flare has tendency to expand beyond the waist measurement or wherever you want to join it. So I bring, instead of adding it down, I bring the half inch up this line. So I, I will mark half an inch all along this upper side of the waistline. So this is it guys. This is half an inch for the joining allowance and this is the length of the flare. This is 90 degree flare. So this is it. If you want to cut it on your fabric, you can fold it exactly like how I folded it now. And then you mark your measurements and then you cut it out on the fabric. So now I'm going to cut it out then cut it on the fabric and on the lining so guys this is how it looks like let me show you how it looks like when i open it so guys this is how the skirt will look like this open part is where the seat will be fixed so the next thing i'm going to do now is to Cut it on both the fabric, this is the fabric, and then I'll be using this satin. I'll be cutting two of these, one for the main fabric and then one for the lining. So let me cut it off camera and come and show you how it looks like. So I think cutting the flare and the lining, as you can see. But the lining, I cut it two inches shorter than the fabric because I don't want when my clients wear it, the lining will be showing under. So I reduce the lining by two inches. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is is to join the zipper line. With the allowance I added, I'll join it one inch because I took two inches for the zipper. So if I join it one inch here, one inch here is two inches. So I'm joining two inches. Where the zip supposed to end, I'll be joining it from there one inch down. And I'll be doing the same to the main fabric. I turn the wrong side and then mark where I want the zipper to stop. Then from there, I will join it with one inch all the way down. After doing that, I will use my sager to knit the whole down of the fabric and the lining. Because using sager to do it, it's easy for you to fold it than folding it as it is. So, but if you don't have sager, you can fold it twice like this without using the sager. So, I'll go and join everything use my sager to knit inside and then come back and show you the next step. So guys, after knitting it, this is how it look, very neat. It's good to knit whatever you sew to make your work neat. So this is the main fabric and this is the lining so let me turn inside for you guys to see so this is it and this opening is for the zipper allowance and I join it down also the lining I iron the zipper line and then also I left 8 inches for the zipper allowance and on the main one I left 8 inches also so this is it now, I'll be joining it to the upper part. And this is the upper part I fixed already. If you want to know how to sew this corset, I have the video on my channel. So please, I'll be leaving the link down the description box so that you can go and watch it if you, you find it 
F4. So this is it. I'll be taking it to the machine. I'll be joining the lower parts to it. So this is how the dress will look. The 90 degree frame. I'll be coming back to show you guys how to attach the lining. So after joining it to the main body, I'll go ahead and hem the down part, the bottom part of the dress. And I'll do the same to the lining, hem it. And after I'll fix the zip, then I'll come back to show you guys the next step. So this is the full dress now. And this is how our 90 degree flare look like. The quarter flare, very beautiful, very nice. And this is the back, look at how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful the zipper side look, very neat and nice. Let me open it up so you guys to see the inside. This is how it is. So the next thing for me to do now is to go and attach the lining. So I'll be attaching the line. You can attach the lining before fitting the zip, or you can fix the zip after you attach the lining. So what I'll be doing now is to attach the lining like so. You see where I notch? That's the zipper line. And then we'll be attaching this line where I notch. We'll be attaching it in the middle like so. Like this. You we'll bring it up about half an inch. Then you attach it to cover the zipper inside to where the zipper ends. And you will do the same to the other side. But I'll be making special video on how to attach zipper to a cloth or how to attach zipper. Half an inch of the journey line like so. And you join it up to where the zipper ends to cover the zipper line. Then after you will turn it and fix it all along the joining part so that it can cover the sewing inside. I'll go and do it and come and show you guys how it looks. So this is how our dress look like, the 90 degree flare dress. I finished with the lining inside. Look at how the inside is very neat. No joining is showing. So this is a finishing look. If you want the tutorial of the upper side, I have it on my channel. So please just go there and watch how to draft it and how to sew it. So guys, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like and share my videos, and also hit on the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. This helps me give me the courage to bring you more videos, more content, so please subscribe and share. Thank you. See you in my next video. Bye.